HSL, which stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance, and that's one of my favorite little modules here in Adobe Lightroom, and it's so powerful, that's why pretty much every version of Lightroom has it, if not all of them, so you can follow along with this tutorial in any version of Lightroom that you want to. So I have some images here that I took at the paint mines in Colorado. I was playing around with some light painting, had a whole bunch of fun at sunset, and then after the sun went down, and you can do so many things with color, especially when you're doing night photography with lights, changing the color of lights. You can change the color of someone's shirt, the saturation, the luminance, everything. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you each of these tabs, what they do, and some tips and tricks that you can use to utilize the HSL module to make your photos look awesome. So we're gonna start off with Hue. One of the first things I wanna talk about is this little button right here, which is the targeted selection tool. And instead of adjusting sliders and just kind of guessing what colors you're messing with, you can actually click and drag up and down on your image and play with the hue, just like you can do with the saturation as well, and we'll get to that. Um, but we're gonna go back to hue. And another thing to remember, if you ever mess up or you wanna undo any of your changes, instead of fiddling around trying to go back to zero, you can either double click or if you want to reset everything, you can double click right here on the word hue and we have just reset our image. So hue is great because I can go through and let's say I just wanna make a minor adjustment to these rocks. I can just click and drag and make them a little more purple. I can make them a little more red. I think that looks pretty cool. And then as I was showing you before, I can go into the sky with these star trails and make it a nice bright teal blue. Or I can even go kind of purple, kind of apocalyptic red. So this actually looks like we're on Mars right now and this looks kind of cool and I really like it. One of the only drawbacks to this tool is you do have to be careful sometimes if you push colors too far. As you can see right here, we'll zoom in. We can get some kind of banding between the colors. Same thing here, you can see it happening kind of here in the sky. And you just have to be careful if you crank your colors way too far, especially if you have two contrasting colors right near each other. You can kind of see in here with the blues and the oranges you can kind of see we get some strange artifacting in there, but if you're not pushing your images too far, you should be okay. So let's go over to our saturation tab within the HSL module, and it's the exact same thing as hue. I can desaturate my sky, I can add more saturation to my sky, that actually looks pretty good. And now you can see we have some of the blues coming out in the rock, the reflection off of the sky, just that ambient light, and then I can maybe pull down the saturation in these magentas. We have some yellows over here. I don't necessarily like how that looks, but you can see how powerful this tool is. So I'm gonna double click to reset saturation, and we're gonna check out the last tab, which is luminance. And in the luminance tab, I'm going to do the same thing, hit our targeted adjustment tool, and maybe I'll bring down the brightness of the sky just a little bit. It's kind of bright for nighttime. We have some highlights over here in the yellows. I'll bring those down a little bit. Maybe I'll bring some of these purples and some of these reds up a touch, and that looks pretty good. Again, I will do some minor adjustment to the saturation, get things just where I want them, play with our hue, make some minor adjustments. And that actually looks pretty cool. I made these rocks look like cotton candy. Here's the before. And here is the after of messing with our HSL slider. As you can see, it's very powerful. So get in that HSL slider, start playing around with it, and practice makes perfect. You'll only understand how to use it better by using it more. So that is all for this HSL Lightroom video. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something. Be sure to share this video if you have a friend that's interested in photo editing. And lastly, hit that subscribe button for more of my photography tips, tricks, and hacks videos. And until next time, get out and go shoot.